Hello and welcome to the North Country Outdoor Channel. Uh, today was a little bit of a, a letdown for me, and the reason for that is, is and it's going to be a letdown for you after you see the, the title of this. Uh, today was my first tree removal job of the year up here in Michigan. The, the weather's finally starting to break. It was actually kind of cold today, but uh, we had some bad weather come through, some, some really high winds about a week ago and it took down quite a few trees and so today was uh, storm damage cleanup our first cleanup of or first tree jobs of the year and I'm I'm beat we started at 7 30 this morning it's now 5 12 in the afternoon I just left the job site I left I left the guys there to do the last little bit of cleaning up and I started video videoing this morning first thing and I had some really awesome awesome footage and I was just gonna make a great video today of the whole day and and how it went and it turns out I was using a microphone that I'd never used with the GoPro before it's it's a shotgun mic for my iPhone and yeah no audio I, I just went through and I was looking at some of the clips and there's no audio so I I have absolutely zero usable footage today which is pretty disappointing because it took a lot of time away from my work to get the good footage for everybody and I can't even use it. So we'll just talk a little bit about today and about storm, storm damage, tree cleanup and what I like about it. Uh, it's, it's some of the, the easiest money that I can make simply because it's, it's storm damage. Um, the storm did have to work for you because most of the time you show up and the tree's on the ground. So you don't have to climb it, you don't have to have a lift, uh, less equipment on the job site, less overhead, means more profit. And so I basically showed up there with the dump truck and a chipper and we just start cutting and chipping. Uh, you know, and sometimes the trees are on houses where, you know, that's, that's a homeowner's claim and you're not the one who put it there so you don't have to worry about it. All you gotta do is get the thing off the house and make the money. And to be quite honest with you, the, the rate really isn't that much different. I mean, a, a tree is a tree. Really, who cares how much work has to go into it? The rate doesn't really change because half the work is done, simply because you still have employees to pay, you still have to show up on the job site, you still have work to do. It's just a little bit of the work was done by Mother Nature. So, storm damage is... Oh, I'm getting pulled over. Hang on. Let's just let's just keep this rolling. I don't know why I'm getting pulled over, but to end my wonderful day. I don't know, are you not allowed to, to, to vlog while while driving? Let's see. This could get interesting. What's up? You went through a red light at Mitchell and Harris Street. Yes, the light was yellow when you uh, pulled up to it, okay. but it turned uh, red when you were underneath of it. Okay. All right. That's not it. I got a weird question. Why are you why are you taping yourself while you're driving? It's vlogging, man. What's that? Vlogging, man. Vlogging. Vlog, video log. Oh, okay. Yeah. YouTube. Okay. I just, let me get on my phone here. I got, I just emailed my agent the other day and she emailed me a proof of insurance if I can just show you on my phone. Okay. Let's just start with your license and your registration. Oh, I I'll do. take your word for the insurance. Oh, you guys can tell now, can't you, from the plate? No. Oh, just the state police? No. It's a long story, but um, we can tell if somebody had insurance but it's not like real time. Oh, so somebody okay. can get insurance, cancel it. Gotcha, and it'll show. gotcha. I do have a CPL. Okay, good There's, for you. That's Glock 19 right there. Perfect, good choice. I won't touch it, I promise. All right, I believe <laughs> you. Hey man, I got, a, I got a buddy that's a cop out in Vegas, so. I figured if you met me, uh, you know, meant harm to me, you wouldn't even have told me about it. Right, 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 so. but I got, I got to rock my Blue Lives Matter pin. That's cool. 
Yeah, I want to get a Glock 29, 10 millimeters. So oh, there you go. Woods gun. Heck yeah. I just need one more thing, registration, please. Right here. Perfect. Be right back. Yep. He's cool. He, uh, yeah. I got pulled over the other day too. Uh, I was speeding. It was a long day and I missed my exit. Went 40 miles out of my way. And so I was speeding to get home and he pulled me over and he was cool as crap. Cops are normally cool if you're cool with them. This should be a testament of that. I bet you that he don't give me a ticket. I can just tell by his body language, but I could be wrong. Honestly. I don't have any tickets. I got a clean record, so we'll we'll see. I don't even know if it's against the law to videotape yourself while you're driving. I mean, I'm not the GoPro's on the dash. I'm not I'm not holding on to it. So I don't see uh, I don't really see the harm in it. But we'll see what he says. He'll probably say something about it. I don't know if you can see the flashing lights back there, but he might say something about my seatbelt too cuz as a plow guy, I got my seatbelt behind me. There you go. Verbal warning for the red light. They have a good day. Got you, man. Yep. Thank you. Have a good one. Just that quick. Here's a testimony, guys. Cops are not bad. They are... I've had nothing but good experiences with police officers. They're good to me. I'm good to them. So... We're going to uh, roll out here and continue talking. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. Um, yeah. What were we talking about? Okay, so I lost my train of thought. Forgive me for losing my train of thought because I just got pulled over. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I like running what I call pink lights. <laughs> it's just something that I do. Uh, this truck's big and... I mean, kind of a pain in the ass to get stopped, to be quite honest with you. So, um, so straight up, obviously it's not against the law to videotape yourself while driving. Just, just so everybody knows, um, it didn't say nothing about it. So let, let's, let's recap this stop real quick. So I get pulled over. He rolls up, tells me I ran a red light, asks me why I'm videotaping. I say, Hey man, I'm vlogging. What's up? You know, I might mention that I got a buddy that's a cop, okay? You know, I usually do that. Uh, I got to show him the Blue Lives Matter pin. That usually helps, so get yourself a pin. And I tell him that I got a CPL and I got a Glock 19 sitting right here. And what does he say? Good choice. Doesn't say don't touch it, even though I told him I won't touch it. You know what I mean? The cops are cool. I, I, I love cops, and, and I, oh, why do people think they're so bad, man. I just broke the law straight up. And that was that was a cool encounter. So anyway, back to the, the tree removal. It's it's just storm damage is good money. There's there's good money in it and I, I enjoy doing it. Uh, I enjoy doing it more than I enjoy going and, and taking down a whole tree. There's a lot of danger that goes into tree removal and the next time I uh, we do a job I'll I'll make sure we have audio and I'll take you guys along so you can kind of see what goes into it if that's something that you want to get into uh, arborist is there's there's good money in it for a couple reasons one it's dangerous Two, the equipment is not cheap and three the, the insurance is, is insane you know as soon as you go more than 10 feet off the ground it's the insurance is just ridiculous you can't I mean you can afford it but you have to you have to charge what some people think are ridiculous rates and other people are just like hey man I get it it's expensive to own a business and it is so 
that's that's just kind of that. Next time, I will make sure that I get some some good audio and and take you guys along, and we'll see if we can't get a better video. I'm sorry if this was boring. Well, hey, it started out boring, and it ended up where we had a an encounter with a police officer getting pulled over, and he was cool. So um, I guess I'm not sure what I'm gonna name this video now. Uh, I don't know. But don't hate the police. They're awesome. They're good people. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm already going on uh, 10 and a half minutes. Probably bored the crap out of you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I had more footage for you from today. And thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time.